Go. All right. A talking head video. I mean, I don't do those often, and I always had the intent of doing a six months review of uh, my streaming year so far. So, some of you may know that I'm streaming every day of the year, seven, usually 7 p.m. EST, uh, to the benefit of the Schneider's Foundation for Children, which is uh, an organization that has helped me tremendously growing up as a kid with osteogenesis imperfecta. I, I've had many treatments and surgeries through them. And so, uh, yeah. So I, uh, I figured that now that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm at a good place in my life where I have a career, I have a pension fund, and I have the means to uh, develop myself and, and hobbies and resources to explore said hobbies. I figured that while well, I have that, that energy, that drive and those means, that I should pay it forward, give back. So what we're doing this year is that we're basically streaming for, for, for charity, for that organization. And I uh, started that uh, project, that little uh, endeavor, on January 1st. So uh, with the intent of streaming every day of the year. And so far, this is what has happened. So I, w I wanted to do a six-month preview on the day of, but life happened and streams, streams still went on. But I, I had yet to do something. So now we're obviously way, way past that. Uh, that six months mark. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the number. I'm going to show you everything uh, that uh, is going on with the streams, with the money that has been incoming, and uh, a few of my observations and tips for those of you who uh, may want to start you know, streaming, either as a hobby, as a career, or any of you who may have some intention for uh, getting started in that, in that field. So, let's take a look. Um, let me show you this there. All right, so here, here is the to the day, six months worth of streams. Now, we're looking here at the average views for that six month period, which averaged uh, 8.4 viewers. Now, as you can see, you know, that that, have, that average has uh, slowly, steadily uh, creeped up uh, with some massive deviations, which came, uh, came from raids. So from big, much bigger streamers who uh, met me, uh, who I met, who I've had the pleasure to, to uh, get to know in the field and who uh, basically when they signed off they raided me so they sent their audience over to me while I was online so as to uh, you know try to, to help out with viewership with um, discoverability and whatnot so and to you know make people aware of the, uh, the, the project that we're on this year so um, overall as you can see it has slowly creeped up from let's say an average of 1.2 viewer here three two up to now we're averaging here by the midpoint of the year about you know it varies it, it, of course but it averages at 8.4 from the beginning but lately nowadays we're more like around let's say 11 12 13 on average with peak. So it varies. At the beginning of the stream, there's not, not a lot of people. It creeps up as we go into the night and uh, it goes down before I, I go off uh, because uh, people work and as, as I do, as do I. So, um, so, you know, the peak will be at a 20-ish viewers and I know them well. I, I mean, you build a community, you tend to start to know your, your community and people that, that comes in. So, I know who pretty much comes every night, and uh, I love them. I, it's, it's really a blast. I'm, I'm so appreciative of the, the time that they give me and the trust that they confide in me and, and uh, you know, sprucing up their, their evenings. But, so that that's what we're looking at now. We're looking at an average of, you know, nowadays, 
12 people. And uh, this is the total. At the midpoint of the year, this was the amount of hours free. So 822 hours and three minutes. This is the total revenue. So we made a bit of money. We made a bit of money. And this money, as I said, and as I always say to uh, everyone, is uh, going to the foundation at the end of the year. So right now it's still at Twitch. So it, it's still there. I haven't reclaimed it or anything. It's still there. And by the end of the year, I'm going to, you know, uh, tell them to send me the check for whatever amount there will be uh, total. And um, and I'll, I'll put it in the uh, in the big old pot here. So, so far we've raised uh, $3,310. So this will all go there, right? Uh, so this, this is the plan. All right. So basically, uh, as you can see, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of subscriptions, quite a lot of follows, uh, uh, a, a creeping of the viewership, creeping upwards of the viewership. Now I'm gonna tell you this: um, getting known and and in this field is very, very hard. The space is extremely crowded. Now I've been blessed with you know. Um, a lot of uh, help from other communities, uh, as you can see with these uh, massive deviations here. And it shows in the revenue. And when you click on the revenue, you see that those spikes, uh, those viewership spikes, totally uh, fits with some more, like, bigger increase in, in uh, subscriptions and donations and ad revenue and whatnot. Uh, because, well, there's more people. And there's people that gets aware, uh, that are made aware of what I'm doing this year. So they're incentivized to uh, chip in. So this is what I want to say about this. Uh, if your your dream is to stream, either if it is a career goal, if you want to, you know, make, make the big ninja bucks not work. Ninja is a little bit out of, uh, out, of, out, of out of pace today, but if you want to be denied the next Kai Samath, the next um, queso or or whatever. Let me tell you, it's it's it's, it's hard. I think it's gonna be extremely hard, and I would I would not go into this with that kind of ambition. I think that's more hurtful in the long term, in the long run, to your your mental health and to your outlook on things. Rather, I would take it as a step by step. It's a process, you know. It's it's uh it's incremental and it's exponential. The more people will get to know you, the more they will recommend you, the more they will talk about you, the more videos will clips will be made about you, will be published, posted, and the more that ball will get rolling slowly. But it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. It is, of course, something that does happen overnight. Guaranteed. But it is extremely unlikely. Now, let me show you. First, now, this is the Twitch viewership. Uh, we're talking about the viewership through the years, since 2013, up to today. Now, I want to show you this because it's just to hammer in the point that getting known in this space is, is extremely uh, hard. It's very challenging. You have to offer something that a lot of people do offer. Also. You know, a welcoming community, a, a, a nice interplay with chat, a good concept. Or you, you have to have something special. And to be frank, most of us don't have anything. Well, I don't have anything special. I don't have shit. I just I log on and I I shoot the shit. And I have fun and. I think that community that I've formed uh, since since the beginning, as the man, the months have gone by, and jive with that. But I'm not anybody special, so you're competing with everyone with that same energy, that same drive, that same will. Well, most. So now to show you that this is the viewership since let's say the beginning of 24, uh, 2024. And as you can see on Twitch, it has been steadily declining from 
an average of 2.6 million viewers down to 2.15. So we're talking about a slash of close to 20% of, of viewership that has gone down while this is the amount of streamers on average monthly. It's not daily, but it's it's a monthly at least these person went these people went live once in the month. So you're competing. As you can see it's ebbs and flow, but it's it's since COVID it's been steadily. Uh, it increased and it, it stayed steady at six, seven point something million streamer. So you're competing with an extremely crowded space. A space that is not gonna uh, diminish in terms of offering. And you're competing for less eye. So, I wanna, you know, it's it's important, I think, when you take uh, anything, when you, you, you start uh, considering any endeavor, whether they're professional or recreational, it's important to consider everything, every angle and the fact. Uh, about them and there's nothing better than data data speaks for itself and that's that's where I want to put the proper expectations uh, at the forefront and I want to tell you this do it I'm not saying you shouldn't do it I'm not saying that it's uh, it's it's a wild uh, not a goose chase but you know it's a pipe dream and I'm not saying it's uh, it's uh, utopia to uh, hope to make a career in this field, but I'm saying it's it's something that you have to dedicate yourself to definitely uh, towards. Uh, you, you have to play your your strengths. You have to play the market, play what what's on offer. You have to consider uh, a lot of things, and I I would say do it, but do it not as it being your your final your last resort you need to come into this knowing that you might not have any viewers now i'm lucky i'm lucky because well of course uh by the na nature of who i am being handicapped and by the nature of what i do uh this year it attracts a certain viewership right so i have that playing for me now it's it's not playing for me in the sense that I'm I'm giving back that money, but I have that helping towards garnering a certain uh, amount of buzz, a certain amount of interest. So I have a, a concept, pick something that's particular, that's that that not a lot of people offer right now. So this this is playing for me, playing to help uh, have more reach, more eyeball more so i would say do it but do it with a safety net do it coming from a a position of comfort with a job and don't do it looking at the numbers don't do it looking at your viewer count don't do it for anything else than for yourself if i figured i'm going to game anyway i've been a gamer all my life i've been there i've been yapping i've been having a grand old time and so to me it it comes as second nature because i'm gonna be online now regardless and i'm gonna game with either my friends or by myself so i figured why not turn on the camera and the mic and just and do it that way yeah. so i come in with that that i'm not i'm not in any hurry or i'm not desperate there's no desperation uh, coming from it so there's a certain ease there's a certain level of comfort that I think is conveyed because anything you're gonna feel inside will be conveyed to the people watching so coming from that angle I, I don't care I don't whether we make a dollar whether we make ten or a hundred it all goes to the same place and it's at the end of the day ultimately it's not it's for me because I'm growing as a person from it. I'm learning skills that I that I didn't have before or that was weren't as honed or perfected. But 
I'm not coming into this, you know, uh, from from an angle of desperation, but rather just to have fun and to learn. And I think that's that is the approach you should have. And um, and yeah, that that that's pretty much it. As for uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube. Well, I have a YouTube. <laughs> I post on YouTube. Now, what I want to say, if I can give you a few advice, if you want to grow an audience. Now, I've seen many people, many videos, many whatnot, flashy five things to do, whatnot, to uh, attract an audience. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hard. You need to have a concept. You need, as for me, I don't have any concept. And it shows. I don't have a lot of views. It's mostly, you know, I take the stream. I cut it. In, in a way that's more digestible. I, I take off some of the yaps, some of the chats, and I, I trim it down, I slim it down, and I post videos almost every day, and I post shorts almost every day. And that's it. That's that's what I do. It doesn't garner a lot of views. It's, uh, that, that's what it is. Uh, but if you can stick to it, if you cannot let yourself be discouraged by it, and if you have that drive and that determination and that work ethic, posting on every social media, we're talking about Facebook, YouTube, we're talking about badly TikTok, Instagram, we're, we're talking about streaming, streaming on Twitch, streaming on Kit, streaming on uh, YouTube, streaming on Facebook even. If you can do it every day, if you can stick to a schedule, if you, people know where to find you, how to find you, when to find you, and, and if you play to your strengths and you play the games with um, high followership but low viewership, but for instance, it's like Hollow Knight. I've met streamers that were basically at, at zero viewers that switched over to Hollow Knight and in a matter of a month, a month, made 150 followers from Hollow Knight. Oh, there's a very fervent community uh, that loves that game, that loves Hollow Knight. So you need, and for me, the same with Cuphead. Uh, the same with Cuphead. I, I played Cuphead a few weeks ago and I gained like 20 followers in matters of uh, a couple streams, like six streams, because people just wanted to watch fun Cuphead moments from a, somebody who, who was playing the game for the first time. So you need to find high followership, low viewer, where uh, you 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 are interested in that game enough, to, you know, to make it interesting for others to see. And just go with the flow. Just go with the flow and don't take it too too seriously or too hard if there's no viewership. You're competing with less right now, right now, as as per market condition shows, you're competing for less eyes with a a creep and as the months will go, as we're getting into autumn and, and then winter, you're, you're cre there's an increase in, in creamers. That will that, there's an inflow that will happen where you'll be competing for more uh with more people for less viewers now that there's a kick that that's taking slowly but surely and i know it may not be you know the best platform out there or the most well renowned or with the best reputation platform out there but there's Aiden Ross that interviewed Donald Trump, and I'm not taking any political position, but that stream alone was a hundred, uh, sorry, was a million people that tuned in on Twitch. So you can't ignore uh, a platform that garners that kind of attention, and I think that market share will slowly but surely, as we as we see, slowly but surely, even out somewhere. Uh, at, at a lower point than what it was once in the past. As, as, as there's more competition, 
uh, with more, more means and with uh, the technology to accommodate that. You know, so, yep, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Uh, give you a little bit of a, a 411 on what the, the streaming was, how it was going, and, um, and, and give you a little bit of my perspective coming into it. Now with more than six months experience, uh, but yeah, that's 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 about it. So, uh, if you have any questions, I mean, I'm I'm live every day. I'm here every day, every night, 7 p.m. EST. Hop in, ask me questions. If you want to know something, uh, comment down below. Ask me anything. I'm 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 here for it. I said I'd be here one year, every day. After that. Who knows? I don't. I'm. My plan initially was to do like um, Markiplier, and I don't remember the other guy. But that project that they did, Uno Sanos, I wanted to do. I don't know if I said that correctly. Give me if I didn't say that correctly. But I, I'm. I meant to do something, which is which was entirely charity driven for one year, and be done with it. That's it. And and. Basically, right off into now having formed uh, a community, it, it kind of feels a little bit bad leaving everyone behind. But at the same time, I I pretty much enjoy the the thought of the scarcity of it, the idea that there's you know, an end to everything, and and knowing that I'm not doing this as a career or for any personal gains uh, purposes. I felt like one year would be a good thing, and then I could go buy something else, discover other things, or expand my horizons somewhere else. But who knows? Life is sometimes very mysterious, takes some places, and you never know. So who knows if I'll be here come um, uh, January 1st, 2025. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to be here every day until the end of this year. 2024 so do by all means if you have any questions worries anything i'm here i've been here i know the game i'm not good at the game but i know the game enough to give you an informed opinion uh a more data oriented opinion uh so yeah by all means reach out and uh i'll see you online all right boys bye bye